Milo! So, <laughs> I just filmed the video and I'm filming another one because if I don't film, like right now I have time and if I don't film these videos that I've been wanting to film, I'm like never gonna film them. And I still wanna film while like things or topics are fresh on my mind. So, um, after my husband's pre-assessment, they decided to put him on Clomid. Usually women go on Clomid. I guess men can do it too. They were hoping that it would raise his testos testosterone, which would then raise his sperm count. So he was on 50 milligrams of Clomid every other day, just one pill every other day, 50 milligrams. He had, there were side effects, but he didn't get any of the side effects. And the side effects were like, kind of funny. They were like things that would happen to girls, like hot flashes, <laughs> uh, tender breasts. So he didn't get any of the side effects and he never felt sick when he took the pills. He didn't have to take them with a meal. It was just like, whatever. Um, so a month after he started taking Clomid, he went in for a blood test and it raised his um, testosterone. It almost doubled his testosterone. So we figured that it was like working and that he'd have good sperm count. We were hoping it was gonna work, um, but it didn't work. Um, literally his count did not change at all. And the previous count that he had um, was after he had been taking the Fertilade for three months. And that was the best semen analysis that he had ever had was after taking the Fertilade. So actually the Clomid didn't work. The Fertilade worked more than the Clomid worked. So if they said that if it worked for him that they would put him on another three months, but since it didn't, it literally didn't do anything for his sperm count, they told him to stop taking it. So yeah, that's where we are. Basically stuck with low sperm count and the only thing that's worked so far is the Fertilade and it still wouldn't even be enough for us to do IUI, let alone conceive naturally. So IVF is what it is and I guess we're gonna jump on board. That's all I really can say for now. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Hello again. So after I filmed that last video, clearly this isn't the same because my hair is like big today, but <laughs> after I filmed that last video, my husband went in for another semen analysis um, so that he could freeze more sperm for our IVF cycle, just so that we would have it. And in the meantime, we went on vacation. While we were on vacation, we got a call from the doctor saying that Matt's sperm count actually did rise. So I don't know why it didn't show up in the previous semen analysis. That's a little weird to me, whatever. Maybe the medicine didn't kick in then. I have no idea. Um, but so the Clomid did work. That's the bottom line. Um, so they decided to put him on three more months of Clomid and actually, like, I was amazed how much it raised his sperm count. Um, he actually had, which this still isn't good sperm count, but it was actually in, like, the millions, which has never been before. Um, and not, like, it was just, like, 1.5 million or something, which, obviously, if you know about sperm, you know that's still not good. Um, and with that, we still wouldn't be able to do IUI or anything. They still think that IUI is the best option and that if we did IUI, we'd be wasting our money. Um, and they don't think that even in this next round, it'll raise it enough to where we can do IUIs. Um, the only reason we are going to continue to do it, obviously, we want them to have the best sperm possible for IVF so that we have as many options as possible. That's why we've probably frozen about, I would say seven or eight samples already. 
Um, so, yeah. So basically that's where we're at. So he's going to do another three months of that. And, yeah. So the Clomid did work. <laughs> I know in the last video I recorded, I'm like, it doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I really didn't think it worked, but I guess it worked. It just took a little longer to kick in, I guess. I have no idea. So, yeah. So, if you, if your husband suffers from low sperm count, mention to your doctor the Clomid. And, you know, it did help. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have a great day.